Welcome to Adventures in Wet Shaving, Episode 2. Hey, Eric here with Adventures in Wet Shaving. And if this is your first time here and you're interested in learning how to straight razor shave, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Then click on the bell next to it to be notified when I upload videos. That way you won't miss a thing. Now, in tonight's show, this is Episode 2. So in the description, I've got a link there for you episode one how the shave began all right so we're continuing on with my Tier Isar and this is just a sweet new old stock this is uh, six eighths quarter hollow look at that isn't that beautiful oh love it now I gotta tell you guys uh, the quarter hollow the uh, half hollows and of course the uh, uh, wedges. Those are, for me, the quarter hollow and the wedges are probably the smoothest. Uh, but, you know, your mileage may vary. All right. And tonight we are using Sterling Silk Company's Gatlingburg. And this, guys, is just like being out in the woods. It's just a wonderful scent. Now, in the description, I will have links uh, to everything. And I will have uh, the description for that soap and the scent profile there for you as well. Now, we have our Omega 10,098 wonderful brush. And it is loaded. So let's go ahead and get our lather on here. And we'll get going. Now, uh, one of my uh, subscribers, Keypros, you know, you were talking about in the uh, comments about uh, what would be a good razor and i tell you what there's a lot of good razors out there so i hate to try to pick something out for you but what i have to tell you is i do really enjoy the wedges and the uh, quarter hollow that is wonderful and i i've had great luck with half hollows as well And if you want something that you have to be a little more careful and mindful with, you know, you could always get a, you know, full hollow or an extra hollow ground. Now, I will say uh, that, uh, to me anyway, I don't know, uh, you guys could chime in on the comments, but to me that's more of a... Uh, kind of a advanced razor where uh, I really like the the wedges and the quarter hollow because they're so comfortable and so forgiving. So I don't know if that helps you at all, but uh, there's my two cents worth on that. And now guys, uh, on Fridays, the first and third Friday of each month, I go ahead and do uh, special Friday videos that are shaving related. So, if you have any questions, comments, or ideas for a Friday special, just put those in the comment section as well, and we will get to it. You know, I've had a uh, wonderful response from the, the Friday special. So, you know, you guys just keep asking questions. I will keep answering those questions for you. All right? There we go. Nice. Okay. Now, this is episode two of the Sunday Shave of the Day, which means this is a pass and a half. So we're going to cross the grain on my neck here, against the grain on my cheeks, right through here and on my chin. That will also be against the grain as well.
nice. And what I'm doing here on my chin in particular is I'm just getting that skin as taut as I can. And then that way uh, I can get a good shave without, you know, getting a nick or a cut. So hopefully that's going to work. Yeah, there you go. Now, you know, you can try to use your hand, but for me, on my chin, it's just more about uh, contorting my face, and then that way it really works the best for me anyway. All right, so now we're going to switch hands and uh, do this other side. Let's find out where that ear is, huh? Nice. Okay. Get that razor cleaned off. Again, it's a 6 eighths blade. And uh, I'm starting to get used to it. This is also the smallest razor I own as well. Okay. Nice, nice. This is really going quite well, guys. I'm enjoying it. Had a long day at work. Uh, actually, all week last week. And it's just wonderful to have the weekend off and be able to take a break. You know, I'm still on call, but yeah, I don't have to do anything really unless somebody calls. So no big deal. It's all good.
Now switching up, we're going to go this way because this will be against the grain here. Nice. Okay. Getting there. So hopefully you guys are having good shaves as well. You know, let me know in the comments. That would be marvelous. Yeah, nice. Oh, nice. Really good. All right. Getting there. One more little bit. There you go. Pass two complete. Nice. Okay. Now, let's get that washed off, see how we did. Wow. Okay. Very nice. Very nice on the cheeks. Yep. Yeah. We are there. Oh, I'm telling you, that's really working out quite nicely. Now, this is going to be the pass, or the half pass, all right, in the pass and a half, right? <laughs> that's what we're doing next, all right? This is just going to be my jawline and my neck, because in all reality, my cheeks are just brilliant, and they don't need more. It's not a big deal. So, I just need to go against the grain, primarily, on my jawline and my neck. And that's what this is going to do. Alright? So, let's get to it. Alright? There's that.
Oh yeah, that is really good. My lands. Nice. Oh yeah. Oh, what a comfortable shave. That is really good. Almost done. There you have it. Another wonderful shave in the books. I mean, super uber comfortable great shave great let's go ahead and get that rinsed off see how we did oh yeah nice that is brilliant that really is not a nick not a cut didn't even get a bump out of place this time amazing Absolutely amazing. There we go. Alum everywhere. Good for the skin. Helps tighten everything up. Now, for our aftershave. There's Lavender Witch Hazel. I think this is going to be fine. This is really nice stuff, and I really enjoy it. I enjoy the scent. Mmm. Yep. And, you know, I just put that everywhere. Doesn't matter. It's good. Good stuff. Good for your skin. Just marvelous. All right. And then, for the cologne kind of thing. Florida water. This is good stuff. Oh my Lance. I'm telling you what a, a wonderful kind of fresh outdoorsy scent. It's great. It really is. Might as well get that everywhere too, huh? All right. Hey, thank you guys so much for watching all the way to the end. Really appreciate you and all you do for me. Click right over here to see episode one. If you missed it, click down here on the video specially picked out for you. Click over here on me. Subscribe, like, comment, share this video with your friends. Have a great shave and a good day. And I will see you next time on Adventures in Wet Shaving.